today's Food for Thought comes from the 6th chapter of Hebrews, verses 13 through 15, which reads, For when God made a promise to Abraham, because he could swear by no one greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely blessing I will bless you, and multiplying I will multiply you. And so, after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. I want you to understand today that God does not make promises that he is not able to keep. Now, many of us, we get tired of waiting on a promise that the Lord has made with us, and we'll say that God has failed us. He's failed to keep his promise. Now, is that true? Or is that thought one that is completely misunderstood of the Lord and then therefore unjustified about him? Well, scripture shows us repeatedly that the Lord, he is a keeper of what he promises. The writer of the book of Hebrews touches on this thought that if God was to break his promise, he wouldn't necessarily just be breaking the promise with you. No, the Lord, he swears by himself. So if he was to break a promise that he has made to you, he will be breaking a promise with himself as well. So I say to you that it is impossible, literally impossible for God to break what he promises because he is faithful. God is faithful to you and he is most importantly faithful to himself. Now all that the Lord has asked of us is for us to trust in what he promised and then to be faithful, faithfully wait on what he has promised to us. As you have heard time and time again, faith, it requires patience, but waiting is not so easy for us, is it? In fact, there can actually be much struggle that we actually encounter and then go through while we're waiting for the Lord to deliver what he has promised to us. Just ask Abraham about that. That being said, I say to you today, remain faithful and be obedient. I encourage you today, when it comes to what God has promised to you, just be faithful. Wait, just wait. He is faithful to keep to you what he has promised.